It's time to disassemble the press. We got Wayne here, which he's in the bathroom at the moment. We've started marking off each of the pallets. We got it numbered. Each one of the, the arms numbered, so we're good to go there. This is just pallet tape, so that can be peeled off, re-taped up. You're gonna have a hose that goes straight through the top of the press. You'll have this connection down over here, which will go through the top of the press. And as we start taking this thing apart, I'll, I'll show you how the heads come apart, how the all the cables hook up, and we'll label the flashes as well. Flash number one and flash number two, which head it normally goes on. So we're gonna start loosening up these bolts underneath to take the pallets off, and then we're gonna take the arms off. And the pallets are just held on with two screws right here. Wayne got a measurement of the distance from... Wayne, where'd you get the measurement from? Uh, from what point? Eight and a half inches. Okay, so we got eight and a half inches from the face of the little alignment bearing here to the end of the pallet. Eight and a half inches. Got it? Yep. So again, it's just these two bolts. I'm just gonna loosen this up. Go to this other side. Loosen it up as well. Then the whole thing slides off, theoretically. Yeah, if you got them loose, get perfect for <laughs> Just like so. And something to keep an eye out for is the, the flat end of the bracket goes towards the back. The angled in here goes towards the front, so your shirt doesn't catch on it. Fork goes down with a torque wrench. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's four bolts here. Uh, they're 9 sixteenths. Uh, we, we got each of the arms labeled, so just match them back up with the, uh, the appropriate number, you'll be good to go. There's going to be one 110 plug, and then we have two 220 plugs, and these are just a quick disconnect. I'll show you what the prongs look like here in a second. All right, so here is the, the plug-in. You get the focus, and you'll need the now, of course, that looks like so. As far as the cables that kind of talk to the flashes, there's this cable that goes here that runs down the center and we have an additional cable coming from this flash here so it kind of just runs over the top of the press you just have it routed and then it plugs in right here into flash head number one i'm just going to disconnect this and there's also an air hose that connects to each of the flashes so there's this air hose here that runs to a T, and each one of those are, are tied into this. We have two pedals. One pedal is for the skip, uh, shirt skip function. So if you need to skip a station, if perhaps you don't load a shirt, whatever the case may be, that's what that's for. And this is for the foot activated pedal, or to make the press turn. Uh, by a foot control. You'll know the difference because the foot control pedal to make the press go, is, it's a little shiny where it's been worn. So I'm gonna put those probably inside the press here, maybe zip time or something. Yeah. Yeah, up up inside the, uh, the base of the press. And then I'm gonna put that panel back on. So those will be in there. Here's the foot pedal cover is very important so that way you don't accidentally step on it and make it start printing while you're in a place where it could potentially cause bodily harm okay moving on Wayne's getting busy down there hey what's up there stud there is a little bit of a allen key right here so that way you can put 
this control panel where you want it. So I'm gonna loosen that up and push this thing backwards. So we have this flash label. This is flash two. Flash one is over there. It is currently on head four. Although you can move these flashes around, place them wherever you want. Um, this is a pretty good setup. There are a couple half inch bolts here, which essentially this bracket is tied into this frame. This part of the frame is tied into this pad here in which this lever here will unclamp this. Once we take these two bolts out, the whole thing will just lift off. We have each head labeled, so it goes from one all the way through six. There are these caps here, in which there are four bolts down inside that hold the head on, and then there are, I believe, five hoses in there. You got a 530 seconds hose, and I believe the rest are quarter inch. Wayne and I have the press all tore down. You see the print heads on the floor all over the place just kind of like when it first came in we went to Home Depot visited a um, one of our friend shops here a couple of units over we got a pallet for that thing billows then last but not least all of our lumber we've got a pallet jack a couple free pallets so now we gotta crate this thing up so the first plan is we're gonna build a base for the press and then we have to move this out of the way. Possibly both or one of, one of these tables. Definitely need to pack these orders away and we're gonna get after it. Another little update, we're trying to figure out how to get these arms on the pallet. We might stack them in a tier. Press is way over there towards the front. And we got the dryer shoved off to the side. And shop's quite the mess, but we're getting it done. It's about 2.30. Had to make multiple trips to the hardware store. I had to change my line out up here so we could use some air tools. Still a lot to do. I'll report back here soon. We got the arms all crated up. I'm gonna go around it so that way you can kind of see how it's done. So we got a pallet here, extended it, got the platen secured. Each of the heads are secured by a board. Keep it from going this way or this way. Got the small little pallet arms here screwed down. And now we're about to wrap this thing up like it's Christmas cookies. All right, we got the press on the pallet here and uh, we kind of Egyptian styled it. Got a couple, <laughs> couple bars over here. <laughs> Essentially rolled the thing on and kind of jacked it up using this floor jack over there and the pallet jack a little bit so I think we're on the home stretch got the billows back there all wrapped up secured got some extra help here Wayne's taking it easy over there while we um, well, they figure out how to fix the nail gun say another 30 minutes hopefully 45 at the tops should be done well, we managed to get everything all packed up. We have our heads here. There are the billows down there, which they are 18th century billows for those of you that are curious out of a Spanish castle. And last but not least, we have the press all wrapped up and it is ready to go tomorrow 
the press will, which technically you guys will see this video today, Thursday. This thing will be out of here and I believe the new press is coming in. Keep an eye out for a live video either Thursday, which is tomorrow for us. It's either that or it's gonna be Friday. They said Thursday, fingers crossed. These past few days, we've been doing a lot of manual printing, just getting our customers taken care of. There's an order there. There's another order that away. Our shop is in quite the mess right now, but that's okay. The new press will be here soon. And then next week, it's looking like Wednesday, the press tech will be here to assemble a new press. I can't wait to show you guys what it is. Jim, I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. So that way you don't miss out on what the new press is. Until next time, guys, we will see you later.